What's up guys, Redness Reviews here with you again. And I know it's an off week, but we're not doing a meal cert minute this week. We're still gonna try to keep this video short and sweet. We're gonna be doing a quick ammo unboxing here. And of course we have to open that with a bayonet. If you know what kind of bayonet this is, let me know down in the comments. Now this ammo itself is nothing special. Just a couple things I needed to make some videos for you guys. But the main thing I wanted to go over in this video is who I bought this ammo from. Before we do that though, let's take a look at what we actually got. So I have a PPU 762 by 54 r in a soft point boat tail 150 grain chambering, brass cased and reloadable, non-corrosive of course, which is something that I normally don't stock for 762 by 54 r but I thought it might come in handy. I have two boxes boxes of PPU 7.5 by 55 Swiss. Always need more 7.5 Swiss. Two boxes of 8 by 51 R Labelle, also by PPU. Another one that I can't seem to get enough of recently. And then I have a couple things that are less mill cert related. I've never used this brand before, but this is a small 50 round box of brass cased 9 by 19 Makarov. Another ammo brand that's new to me at least. Sergeant Major Munition, range friendly, 380 ACP. And last a Winchester Ranger law enforcement 50 round box of frangible lead free plus P 45 auto rounds. When I saw these, I could not help myself but pick these things up. Definitely want to do some ballistic testing with those bad boys. I've never shot plus P 45s before. Definitely too cool to pass up. So I got some cool ammo to make some more videos. But where did I get this ammo from? I got this ammo from AIM Surplus. Now I am in no way affiliated with AIM Surplus or any other retailer for that matter. I'm a completely self-funded project, but I did want to express to you guys my opinion of AIM Surplus. And to be frank, my opinion of them is about as high as it gets. For me personally, AIM Surplus is my favorite place to buy ammo from, not necessarily because they always have the best selection and not because they always have the best price, but that these guys are super honest. When every other online munition retailer was jacking their prices through the roof in the big ammo scare that we've gone through here recently aim surplus kept their prices virtually the same now of course in general prices on ammo have trended up over the past couple years and that's just the nature of the market but not once did aim surplus ever go in and charge $50 a box for nine millimeters they kept everything at basically what they were selling it at pre-pandemic when we had that big ammo shortage and even leading into more recent events with the Russia ban. AIM Surplus has kept a very level price for their ammo. They really gained my respect from that. There are some other good retailers out there. SG Ammo is traditionally one of my favorites, but I really do respect what the guys over at AIM Surplus do with their store. I most certainly plan to continue doing business with them in the future. It helps that they carry my favorite surplus ammo brand PPU and whenever a new batch of something comes in aim surplus throws it right up on the website and that about does it for the video told you it'd be short and sweet let me know where your favorite place to get ammo is down in the comments if you liked the video don't forget to hit the thumbs up to help it out with the algorithm and to subscribe to the channel to see all my future videos ones like this and videos with a little bit more substance I really appreciate you guys checking it out and I will catch you in the next video see you then peace